All right, today we're gonna to talk about carbohydrates and sugars and all the confusions that come along with a carbohydrate. Um, people talk about complex carbohydrates, simple carbohydrates, polysaccharides. It's very, very confusing what is a carbohydrate and how is that different than a sugar? So let's just clear that up. Carbohydrates are made up of sugars, starches, and fiber. The biochemical name for a carbohydrate is a saccharide. So basically, carbohydrates are a compound of these. These are saccharides, and carbohydrates are classified by the number of saccharides. The Greek word for saccharides is sugar, okay? Now we have monosaccharides, okay? Mono means single or one. So a monosaccharide would be one of these, that would be glucose or fructose or galactose. This would be considered a simple sugar. You also have dextrose and others, but I'm gonna keep it fairly basic. Next one, and there's four, okay, is disaccharides. Okay, di means two. Two of these right here, okay? It's called two monosaccharides. So an example of a disaccharide would be like table sugar or sucrose. That's the same thing. Sucrose is composed of two of these, glucose and fructose. Another example would be lactose, milk sugar. It's composed of glucose and galactose, okay? So that's what a disaccharide is. Pretty simple. The disaccharide and these other two I'm gonna talk about make up the complex carbohydrates, okay? So this is the simple, these are the complex. Okay, now we're gonna to get to oligosaccharides. So oligosaccharides are three to nine of these guys right here. All right, last one, polysaccharides. Poly means many, and this would be about 10 or more of these guys, okay? And that would be like a starch. Here's some examples, potato, rice, wheat, and corn. Okay, those are starches. These are composed of many of these guys right here connected together. And then you have the fiber is an example of a polysaccharide. That would be called cellulose. The thing about fiber that you should know is that fiber helps decrease the absorption of sugar. So the more fiber you have, like in celery, the less absorption of sugar you're gonna have. Also, fiber decreases the sugar response. So it decreases the sugar spike. Well, guess what? That's it. That's the complexity of a carbohydrate in relationship to a simple sugar, complex sugars, saccharides, starches, and fiber. The next thing that would be good for you to know would be more on the glycemic index. I put that video right here.